Howdy all, lovely to see you all again. We're gonna be looking at the emotional classic Purple Rain today, uh, obviously a tribute due to losing the lovely Prince earlier this year. And I wanted to make a special shout out to Bobby Paz of bobbysbackings.com. Please check out his website and the backing I've linked in the description for this song so that whence you have learnt it, you can jam along with his delicious backing like I'm about to do. So let's take a look. Guys, let's take a look at the first section. Keep in mind that we're essentially around the G minor pentatonic for a lot of this solo. I'm gonna start off with a bend on 17 of the third string and then pick my pinky while I'm playing 18 of the second string. And that's gonna sustain at the top. If you want to, you can add some cheeky vibrato with a whammy if you have it. I'm gonna hit them both together. Bring the bend down and hit that 15 with some sexy vibrato. That 15 was on the third string. After that, I've got a flat finger playing 15 of the fourth and the third together, and I play that little chord twice. And then I've got a pinch harmonic on 12. Now, he might've just got natural feedback, but if you wanna sort of get the exact pitch on the album, I found a pinch harmonic on 12 of the third string, and I'm sort of doing that harmonic on the end of my pickup. On, I've got a 24 fret guitar, so you might need to change it on yours. That's, that's the one I really like. So let's have a look at what we've got thus far. Hopefully that's making sense. Then after that, I go back into that 15 chord on the third and the fourth string. I hit that twice again. And then I work into this phrase. Let's do that together nice and slow. I wanna play 15 of the first string and do a bend from 18 of the second, and they're gonna to bleed together with that kind of dual bend idea. And I had sort of four of those. One thing I did notice when I was listening to it on the recording, uh, the second and the fourth aren't as big on the dive, so you could almost just hold it at the top of that. Just hit it again. At the end of that I had, that's what I've got here, up and back, from 18 of the second string. So I'm bending up and back, pulling off to 15, and then I just do a pull off from 18 to 15, so it goes. Then I wanna jump to 17 of the third. Sort of go. All together. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I work into this phrase. and that'll end the, the whole section. So what I've got here to start that. That's better, Chris. I've got to pull off from 18 to 15 on the first, and I'm doing a dual bend from 15 of the first to 18 of the second. Slowly, that's gonna sound like this. At the end of that, I've got a single note on 15 of the second string. There's a slight pause here before it works into that phrase. So I've got the 15 of the second, then I got, I've got a bend, 
Very slight on 17 of the third. I bend it up and back, pull off to 15, and then just do a pull off from 17 to 15. Okay, so we've got... At the end of that, I'm gonna play 17 of the fourth, and then I'm gonna play two 15s, and then when I hit that second 15, I'm gonna hammer to 17, pull off, and then hammer back to 17 again. So to go all in one pick. Let's go from the pull off from the first string. We'll put all of that together, and then we're nearly at the end of the section. To finish it off, we're gonna have a big bend on 17 of the third string as a full tone. And that'll lead us into the second uh, second section. So let's take it right back to the start of the section, play the whole thing relatively slowly, and then do it again with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. All right, let's have a look at the second section. I want to start off with a big bend from 17 of the third and 18 of the second, like we kind of had in the first section. So we're going to go... And then it works into this. So I've got a power chord idea here. I'm playing 15 of the third and 18 of the second. And then I just jump to a single note on 15 of the fourth string. Then I work into this. This is pretty simple. So I'm doing a bend from 17 of the second string and 18 of the first, and then I want to resolve that to that power chord on 15 and 18 as well. So we're going to go. And as I said, we're just going to do the same thing three times. At the end of that, I do that power chord idea again, and then jump to 15 of the fourth string. So let's have a look what we should have thus far from the start. Hopefully that's making sense. And then I work into this phrase. All right, so what I've got here, still around the G minor pentatonic, obviously, I'm gonna go from 15 of the first and then a pull off from 18 to 15 on the second. And then what I have here is a single bend on 18. And then I've got two groups of two. So we've got At the end of the last of those uh, group of two bends, I'm gonna hit it four times at the top. One, two, three, four. And then I bring it down, so it goes. Once I've brought that, uh, after that group of four, I bring the bend down and pull off to 15. So all together, we're gonna to have this nice and slow. Hopefully that's making sense. Then to finish off the section, I've just got two more bends on 18 of the first string and that's gonna lead us into section three, which will start on that vibrato 18 on the first string, but we'll just end here. Let's have a look at the whole section relatively slowly and then we'll do it again with some tabs. One more time, some tabs. All right, guys, let's take a look at the third section. Keep in mind, we've just come from those two bends at the end of section two. And we're gonna start group three 
from that vibrato on the 18 of the first string. So we've got, then I work into this phrase. All of that delight. So let's slow that down. Essentially what I'm doing at the start of that is a relatively simple idea, uh, played quite fast. There's a couple of moments where it will deviate from being exactly the same thing six times, but we'll, uh, we'll take it slowly. What I'm essentially doing is playing 18, 15, 17. The speed does vary, but it's essentially the same thing six times. So I want to go two, three, four, five, six. At the end of the sixth section, I'm going to add three more notes. I'm going to play 18, 17, 15. So if I was going to do the last grouper to go, let's try that whole thing uh, from that vibrato, put it together slowly, and hopefully that'll all make sense. One, two, three, four, five. And then we work into this. I've got a regular 20 there and then a bent 20 on the first string. Then I work into this. So what I'm doing here is I'm quickly playing four 18s on the second string and then hammering to 20. Okay, in between that, I'm gonna add another bend on 20 of the first string. And then I'm gonna play three 18s on the second string and then just vibrato. So we've got Hopefully that's making sense. Let's put together everything we've got thus far and then we'll add to it. Three, four, five, six. Then we've got. After that, I'm gonna work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I've got a slight bend on 20 of the second string and then I'm gonna pull off 20 to 18 twice. At the end of that, I'm pulling off 19 to 17 on the third. At the end of that, I've got a grace note slide from 17 to 15 on the fourth string, and then I'm pulling off to 15. At the end of that, I'm jumping to 17 of the fifth, and then back down to 15 of the fourth. All together. Let's go from that little 20 bend so you can hear all of that together. And we're essentially working around uh, position one and position two of the, B, uh, of the G minor pentatonic, or you could sort of think of it as the G minor with the B flat major pentatonic, if you want to be specific. All right, back to the start of the section. Okay, hopefully that's all making sense. And then I work into this phrase. This is exactly the same thing three times. I'm gonna play two eights on the fourth string and then a slight bend on 11 of the fifth. Then I work into this phrase. You notice that I did the first two notes of that, uh, sorry, the first four notes of that were the same thing twice. So I'm gonna play eight six on the fourth and then eight, seven on the fifth, and we're gonna do that twice. After the second group, I'm gonna add six, four on the fifth, and then jump to six of the, of the sixth string. So we've got. Let's go from uh, the 18 and the 11 bend. We'll do that three times in that end fill, and then we'll put the whole section together relatively slowly, and then of course, again, even slower with some tabs. All right, let's go right back to the start of the section now. One more time, some tabs. Guys, thanks for sticking with me. It has been an emotional journey thus far. We're gonna start off by playing a little chord on 11 of the second string and 10 of the third. And I'm gonna bring that back a semitone. It does sound a little weird. I'm playing nine of the third and 10 of the second. I'm gonna do that twice. 
And then I'm going to play this little phrase. And that's going to happen quite a lot, that little... So keep it in mind. I'm playing 11, 10, 11, and then I hit 11 again and slide to 13 on the second string. Let's have a look what we've got thus far. Then I work into this phrase. I'm playing 10, 12 on the third and then 10 at the second. And then what I'm going to do, instead of playing those chords again, is just play single notes on the second string. So I'm going to play 11, 10 twice. And then I'm going to play, I guess, that 11, 10 again, but that's going to be the other phrase we had before. So all together we should have this. Okay, now let's go back to that 10, 12 thing that we had on the third string. I want to repeat that whole section all the way up to the 11, 13 slide exactly the same again. So after that little chord idea we had at the start, we've got the next idea exactly the same twice. Let's have a look at everything we should have thus far. Okay, hopefully that's all making sense. So as you saw, it was essentially the same thing twice after the chordy idea. I've got a little bit of a break and then I work into another bend from 17 of the third, holding 18 of the second string. And then I've got this power chord fifth idea from 15 of the, sec of the third string and 18 of the second. And I'm gonna play that four times. All right, let's have a look at the whole section thus far and then we'll work on the second half. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to the single note idea again. Without the lead in, the next one's gonna have the lead in. It's going to be exactly the same as what we had before. This is where it changes it up a bit. So I'm going to have that lead in playing 10, 12 on the third and then 10 of the second string. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play 11, 10, three times. And then I'm going to hit an extra 10 at the end of that group and then jump to 10 of the third. So it's going to go. Hopefully that's all making sense. And then we've just got the round off at the end. Let's go through that last run, then we'll put it all together and do it again, even slower with tap. So I'm sliding in to six of the fifth string just to get a little bit of a swoop. It doesn't really matter, but I think it just sounds more emotional. And then I was playing five, three. At the end of that, I dropped to three of the fourth string and do a hammer from three to five. So we've got, then I go. So I was just playing uh, six, five, three again without the slide. Then resolving that on the B flat note on fret six of the sixth string. So that's the whole thing. Let's go right back to that 10, 11 chord we had at the start of the section, play it relatively slowly and then do it again with some tabs. One more song, some tabs.
that was the solo to Purple Rain by Prince. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And also in the link in the description, please check out Bobby's backing tracks and the link to this particular backing track that I used. Take care guys.